Spiritual Talk with Norma Kaya. How are we doing today? You guys are ready for your message. Grab a tea, grab a water, grab a seat. <clears throat> this Scorpio season has me swimming in these feels and these messages are super profound. Profound. Are you guys ready? I hope you're ready, right? <laughs> ready or not. So we had two cards that flow out and one of them is endless possibilities. Endless possibilities and birds of a feather. Uh, right now is the feminine energy. It is the new age. If you don't know, now you know. It's the new age. It's the new feminine energy. What does that mean? Education, networking, connecting, loving, getting together, gathering. And guess what? It's the season for gathering. It's the season for gathering. Gather. Make sure that you don't touch your eyes, don't touch your mouth, don't touch your nose. Wash your hands. <laughs> Because with gathering is a spreading of germs, right? <clears throat> so I just have to put that out. I'm feeling a little funny. I don't know. Did you like it? <laughs> Endless possibilities when you flock together with the tribe, right? When you flock together with, you know, your birds. You know, um, you don't have all these other birds, you know, mm, migrating with other types of birds. It's usually the same type of bird that's migrating with the other types of birds. You can sit in your backyard and you can see multiple types of birds, but birds usually stay with their own species. Am I right? I don't know. I'm not the bird as, uh, expert, so tell me if I'm right if you're the bird expert <laughs> or know something more about birds than I do. What I'm feeling is really endless possibilities. And another thing about birds is they're the messengers of the angels, right? It is the connection from, from above to here. They have the wings to fly from there to here to our, our world, right? <clears throat> and so that's why I love feathers, right? Like we collect feathers. So messages from above. So birds of a feather flock together. So flock, flock and find your magical tribe. Find, find your magical tribe. Let's see. Um, on the bottom of the deck says open to discoveries. So that has to do with the endless possibilities, right? They're only there if you can see it. You have to see the opportunity and that is a choice mindset. Because if you don't see the opportunity, then it's not an endless possibility. Let's just grab some, I'm just feeling like there's a couple of messages on the top of the deck of some of these. <clears throat> 53, new beginning, absolutely. Endless possibilities, what is your new beginning? What is your new beginning? The magician, absolutely, manifest that shit. Time, jump your timelines, create what is meant and destined to be in your life. And oh my God, the ace of cups, right? The ace of cups. What I want to say about the Ace of Cups before I end this message, because this is a really positive, amazing message, is the Ace of Cups, right? If someone, someone once said, and it really makes sense to me as far as a practitioner or a teacher, right? Because this is a whole nother level of practicing spirituality, of practicing energy work, right? <sighs> so this whole other level of practicing energy work, not just for me, not just for my children, not just for my family, but for the community, right? For the collective. It's a whole nother level. Well, so let's talk about that Ace of Cups on a whole nother level. Yes, okay, everybody says, you know, like, don't pour from an empty cup. Well, of course you can't pour from an empty cup, but they also say when your cup overflow, then give them that overflowing and make sure that your cup is always full. And yeah, that's great. That's great. You know, always make sure that your needs are provided for because you're number one. And the better that you are heal yourself, the more attention and time and love that you give yourself, the more that you can provide attention, time, and love to other people. Yes, my point is that what you need to do with that overflow is have another cup. And that other cup is for other people, right? Not your overflow, not any of that. The intentional cup that you fill from the overspill of your cup. If you are an energy practitioner or some type of a teacher or some type of a, you know, however it goes. <clears throat> make sure that you have an extra cup for those because just providing them from what you're overfilling with is not is still not going to be enough because what if they come to you and you're not overfilling 
So reserve that cup of love, reserve that cup of energy. Make sure that you have that reserve because it takes more of you and your practice and your intention than most. So <clears throat> I suggest that you um, like maybe, maybe think about that, reflect on that and reflect on how maybe, maybe you've been pouring from your actual cup and how that makes you feel. Or maybe you have been just, you know, honoring yourself and waiting until you have enough to overflow. And then that's when you provide love and gestures and everything for everybody. And that's honoring yourself, right? And that's wonderful. But are you honoring yourself? Especially whenever you get into a whole nother realm of teacher or practitioner. Honor yourself, the giving and the receiving of energy and love and attention and healing, right? <clears throat> so, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate your attention. If you liked this message, give me a heart. If you resonated with it, then let me know. Thank you very much for your time. I wish many of you lots of blessings. Um, happy gathering season. May you gather with your family and loved ones. May you share lots of smiles and laughter. And may you create memories that last a lifetime. <laughs>